Don't you just love it that you have a day where you think, hey, you're going to be working at 5.30 today, but then you look to realize then that you have a phone call from work saying that you were supposed to be in at 1.30, but not to come in today because they've already got someone covered because you didn't call back in time to see what was going on. <sighs> Moral of the story, kids, always make sure you check your fucking schedules. Today has been a very nice, warm, but ugh, day. I'm still gutted thinking how the hell did I just misread the schedule, thinking, hey, I'm supposed to be working at 5.30 today. No, nope. it was 1.30 till 5.30, so that pissed me off. Looking at it thinking, crap. So, that's excellent. Good thing is I'm working tomorrow, I'm doing another morning shift. So it's just been trying to get myself more mentally prepared because we've got promotions going on tomorrow in the store and just everything in between. But right now, oh, just mentally feeling like, ugh. I'm trying to think about how to have food later, but at the same time, kind of feeling like I want to have a nap. So I'm going to take my negative brain today because of that, and I'm just going to. I'm just going to go for a snooze. Come on. Focus. Focus! I command you to focus, you little shit! Hey, that works if I do my godly voice. <laughs> Love to have these. Because I'm going to have myself a late night cup of tea, even though I'm going to be up in six hours. Five hours odd for work. That's screwy. I haven't had a cup of tea in a while. Coffee, yes. Tea, that's different. Nice bit of tea. tea. Oh, how lovely is that? <laughs> uh, now, tonight has been just a bit of a relax trying to decompress from having this oh god, what the hell moment with work. And preparing me mentally for tomorrow because we got a special promotion where it's basically for like a certain amount in price with purchase so it's like I think $10 odd you get a certain percentage off so I gotta learn how to what you call it um, keep adding those promotions on then as I go along do it that way so that should be interesting mmm but T T in the pink cup, T T. In the pink cup, T T. Oh oh, in the pink cup, gotta love myself some tea. Ah. Really don't mean to say this in a bad way, but hearing Chiwetel Ejiofor's version of "Be Prepared," it kind of has it, but at the same time, my favorite villain song it. Mm. And he is a good singer, he's a good actor, and he was freaking good in Doctor Strange. But honestly, if you are going to freaking have him do something, then to be honest, he was better when he was singing this song. Sorry. So one of the biggest news that I've seen today before heading to bed is that majority of the west end side or the west side, sorry, of uh, New York City had a power outage uh, majority of shows ended up having to be cancelled for that day because of the power outage and what was fantastic was that even with the shows like, if I read them in order Hades Town, Moulin Rouge, Aladdin, Harry Potter, Frozen, Lion King, Share Show, What the Constitution Means to Me, Ain't Too Proud, and Frankie and Johnny. And also as well, Carnegie Hall and Lincoln Center shows down for the count too for this blackout. Uh, majority of these musicals ended up going to the streets and going outside the theater to entertain the citizens of New York as well and just having an entertainment, you know, singing songs and such. And I think that's awesome, even though that you're unable to get a show out, you still want to entertain, you still want to make people happy and just have a fantastic time. And that is awesome, and some of the videos I've seen were freaking brilliant, and 
with most of it. I mean, there was one video of a guy who was basically, you know, he wasn't like an official officer, he wasn't a police officer or anything like that, but he was helping one part of an intersection, you know, with uh, trafficking. You know, the whole uh, stopping cars, so let's civilians, you know, cross the road properly and then let them go on. So he was conducting the traffic there and it was freaking awesome. I looked and I thought, there are still some fantastic people out in the world that could do something like that when we have days like that where we just have a blackout. You know, it's nice to see that there are citizens out there that can actually do something like that and make this place a good place. Even though there's still one or two assholes in the world, there are still some good people out there and I like that. Anyway, I gotta call it a night. It's now two in the morning. I gotta have at least oh shit, four hours of sleep. Because I've got to be up at 6, coffee, dressed and changed, out the door by 7, maybe 7 at the latest hour, so I can just go down, get my coffee from Duncan's, so that's like a mile away, and then walk the extra 10, well, no less than 5 minutes to get to the store and then start my shift, and oh my god, I, there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's little video. Hopefully you've enjoyed and if you have as always don't forget to hit that like button. And I shall see you guys tomorrow for a brand spanking new day and hopefully I'll try and see if I can make it better than the rest. But until then, take it easy guys. Lost out.